Yeah, that's definitely beloved. But what if I told you it's not beloved? It's a different snipe entirely. It's nothing like beloved whatsoever. Okay, I'll stop joking. This sniper is called Adored. If you talk to the gunsmith, he'll set you on a quest with three optional ways to obtain it. Strikes, Crucible, and what was that third one? Eh, probably not important. But what is important is that we finally have a fantastic deterministic snipe to replace other snipers that we had in the past. This one doesn't even take that much grinding for its power. Consider how long you might have spent in the menagerie getting a beloved of similar strength. I really can't stress this enough. If Bungie wants the sunset gear, then we need gear of this strength that is this easily obtainable. But I'll talk about that more as we get further into this expansion. Now, let's talk about the perks on Adored. We have Triple Tap or Killing Wind. Triple Tap means that if you land three precision hits, you get an extra bullet, and Killing Wind gives you more handling and mobility after a kill. On the other column, we have Vorpal Weapon, which is more damage to super and bosses, and then we also have Snapshot. So it's looking like the top row is more of a PvE setup, and the bottom row is more of a PvP setup. As for first impressions, after a small session of PvP, I kind of found it harder to miss with this thing than to hit with this thing. Maybe that's because if you remember my content back in early Destiny 2 and even in Destiny 1, I preferred the medium zoom scopes and those are the ones that were unaffected by the aim assist zoom changes. In the background gameplay, I'm very loose with my shot because I want to try to aim wildly just to see what hits. And Adored hits some pretty crazy shots, I'm not going to say this is me, it is totally the sniper rifle doing all the work. I can see where Bungie is going with this sniper rifle. It's a slightly nerfed version of Beloved because it does have more zoom and it doesn't have access to Quick Draw or another aim assist boosting perk. Instead, it is Killing Wind, which you have to get a kill in the first place just to activate that handling bonus. Overall, at least on mouse and keyboard, I found this snipe very easy to use, so it's definitely going to be something in my sniper rifle rotation, but as soon as there is an aggressive frame sniper that's an option that I can farm for or deterministically grind for, I'm just switching to the aggressive frame or permanently using Borealis. If you're interested on how this performs on a controller, keep in mind that Drewski also did a review, link in the description and pinned comment. And if you're curious how this performs with Ophidian Aspects, since this can completely negate any handling change, check out Side's gameplay. He's an overall better mouse and keyboard user than myself, so he should give you a pretty good idea of what the ceiling of the sniper rifle looks like. Also, if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to the channel that you're watching right now, because later I'm going to show you guys the most efficient farming method I found for getting this sniper rifle yourself. So you don't necessarily have to rush it, I will save you a lot of time once I catch some time to edit that video. But if you've already obtained this sniper rifle, let us know in the comment section what you think of it, and I'll see you in the next one.